come on Unity, I have enough problems without you giving me even more problems. Hello guys and welcome back to this devlog series. So a few days ago I showed something about how the building system is going to be, uh, but at that point pretty much everything was a placeholder and it still is, but I changed something. So what I'm going to show you today instead is something different, but still related to this topic. All right, today we're going to start with the engine and as physics told us, this boy, whether it's small or big, it needs an engine to move. So I quickly modeled something using Blender and I got this result. Um, okay, not gonna lie, I like it, but you know, maybe this is the wrong scale. Just guessing. I mean, this could be used to move the whole island. It could become a feature one day. Driving islands? <laughs> what the hell? That's pretty sick. <laughs> well, this engine is going to be powered with these energy cells, so I have to add a module so that I can place and monitor them. And here we go. Now I can power it. The monitor is really simple. Above every cell, I got the current energy of each one, while on top, I can see the total of all cells combined. Um, the little icon is going to tell me how much energy is left. Red, yellow, and green. So let's try this out. If I start going up, you can see that one of the energy cells starts decreasing, and the faster I go, the faster it decreases. And it also shows me which energy cell is using to be powered. Oh, by the way, I also made a white version. Um, let me know which one you prefer in the comments. Okay, let's move on. The next thing is probably the one that took me the longest and it's cameras placing. And this mechanic is just for the A-ship, so you can place them everywhere. So after modeling a camera and a monitor, uh, this was done for the 30 day challenge, by the way, it was time to link them. Um, I did it before if you remember that, but this time I had to do it dynamically, so it was a little bit trickier. But after a few lines of code, I figured out how to manage it. Uh, okay, let's try this out. If I place a camera here in the outside and a monitor in the inside, it is not working. Nice. Um, oh yeah, I know why. And here we go. I have done a window. <laughs> I could have just done that. Um, yeah, that was useless, uh, and it seems like we have a common ground now. <laughs> but let's move on. The next thing to achieve are multiple cameras. So what I wanted to have is to be able to place many cameras and switch between them with the monitor. So let me place some cameras, a monitor, and here we go. Nice, we got an engine, we got the airship, we need something to drive it, so it's time for the cockpit. A while ago I did one which was worse than my future and my childhood combined, but now my model skills are even worse than before, so I tried my best to do something at least decent. Okay, let's explain this. These monitors are meant to give information about the airship, um, and I don't know which one yet, maybe something like the current pressure, the oxygen level and stuff like that. While this one is for the engine, this lever is able to increase the power and basically go faster. Of course, it will consume more energy. You might be wondering what this red button is for. This is an emergency button to just turn off everything. Um, let's say you're in the air, you, you press it and you die. Uh, that's it, basically. The good thing, the good thing, the good, the good thing of this system is that you can leave the cockpit and mind your business while the airship keeps going. Uh, maybe if I have time before the release, I can add the autopilot, so you don't have, you don't even have to drive it. Okay, in this building system, multi storage is supported, so I need something to change the current floor, and for that, I decided to use a simple ladder. Um, I can place how many I want, and to climb it, I just have to click the left mouse button. And keep also in mind that there will be a preview system so that you can decide what to build between floors. Okay, at this point, I have enough stuff to show you how a very small airship could be. We got a cockpit. A smart way to place this guy is in a space like this one with glass all around it so that you can see outside while you're driving. And we also got an engine and the ladder. So this first floor is just for driving and maintenance purposes. And upstairs you can place whatever you want, like the storages, the bed. Um, there will be the possibility to have walls, of course, internal windows, terraces, greenhouses to farm, and so on. There is really so much stuff that I want to add, but I don't know how much I can go far with it. Um, last but not least, the bed. The bed was simple to model, uh, even for me. It does not look like the best bed in the world, nor the most comfortable, uh, but it's okay. 
Um, I'm actually not sure about the color of the sheet and the pillow. Uh, I could make them customizable. And yeah, like every survival game, the bed is used to sleep and let the night pass faster. According to my YouTube set, many of you are not subscribed. I mean, <laughs> what are you waiting for? And also, we have an awesome Discord community that you can join. Um, to give me ideas, feedbacks, or <laughs> question me anything. And beside that, I have nothing else to show for today, so have fun, and I'll see you guys in the next video.